build this, you're going to need a sprayer with a pump, eight kilos of weights, baggage straps, tape, and more tape. You want to use a new and clean tank that has not been used with insect spray before. That's really important because you do not want to poison in yourself. First, you want to wash the bottle with soap and water to make sure all the dirt and uh, oil from the production of the bottle is gone. This will take a while, but you do want to make sure that everything is clean of the area you're breathing. When you have emptied the bottle once, you want to refill it with clean water and you want to wash it once again with the clean water. So you make sure you get all the soap out. But you don't want to be breathing air that tastes like soap. Now that your tank is cleaned up, the first thing you want to do is to remove the straps. Then you're going to want to attach the straps that's going to attach the tank to your body. Now you want to place the bottle on the table and you take the strap and you take it around the bottle like this. And one more time around like this. And then you adjust the strap to fit to your waist. You want to make it tight because you're going to be using it in the pool or if you're going to use it with a wetsuit, adjust it with the wetsuit. These should be fairly equal now. Let's put one tape like this. Make sure it's stiff. Make it tight. And now you tape around the bottle and the straps like this. You now have the straps straight sticking out on the side like this. You now want to take the other strap Find the middle of the strap and attach it at the top like this. Tie a knot here. The bottle is now ready so you can use it as a backpack. Take the first strap around like this. And then you take the second strap over your shoulders. underneath the other strap and then down on the inside on the other one and you attach it here it's now attached to your back now since this bottle has 8 liters of air inside it means it's gonna have 8 kilos of pull upwards when it's in the water therefore we need now need to attach the weights to the bottle to help us keep the bottle down so we don't just float up when you can swim around with it. We want to be neutral in the water. For that I'm going to use the strap we had in the beginning uh, that was attached to the top of this bottle. If you don't have weights like this, this is diving weights, you can use any other type of weight and you just tape it to the bottle. I'm now attaching around 6 kilos on the bottle because I will also wear a weight belt which will add, um, count for the rest of the weights. We now want to attach these straps to the top hinges here that was here from before because we don't want the weights to be pulled down and fall off while we're underwater. And that's the whole thing, your, all your uh, homemade breathing apparatus is now ready to be used in the pool. This apparatus can hold, or this uh, tank can hold three bars of water. And that is, uh, I assume that will be around uh, four to five minutes of air on the water, depending on how deep we go. We'll test it tomorrow. You hear that it's full, when you hear this air it starts coming out here. When that happens you can't get any more air in, so then it's full and you just go and try and die.
Well, it can't be very long, but it works. 